Virginia Health Chief says he will mandate coronavirus vaccine. Strongly opposes exemptions. Shalom. All praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Wacha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who have told me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad to the elect of the nation of Israel, who may so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who must get here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shaharatazah. This lesson is edifying. Now I would like to expand upon this image that you brothers and few sisters out there see before you, which through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was inspired to do this lesson because of and it was uploaded by GMS Austere Man two days ago and it is a screenshot of an article that was published on RT news on August the 22nd 2020 the year of prophecy at approximately 403 I'm assuming in the afternoon it reads Virginia health chief says he will mandate coronavirus vaccine strongly opposes in emphasis exemptions and we understand that the wicked who is the biblical red Hebrew Edomites pursuant to the book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 in whose hand pursuant to the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24 the earth has been given into beginning with their elites are going to use this so-called coronavirus pandemic which is all ultimately judgment from the heavenly father Yahweh through son Yahweh Shai to bring in his new world order through the form of gradualism, which gradualism is the idea of achieving a desired end true gradual means, true gradual stages. And they're going to use this coronavirus and his vaccine as a bridge towards the enforcement and the mandating of the RFID microchip, which is a mark of the beast. Okay, now let's go to the scriptures. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he, now the he is referring to the hegemony of Esau or Edom. Cause if all, okay, in Esau or Edom today, there are the so-called Caucasian race, okay, so-called white man, woman, and child. The wicked that the Bible speaks of, pursuant to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. So the hegemony of Esau or Edom, their elites, their banking families, their Rothschilds, their Gettys, their Dupons, their Lees, okay, their astagots the visigots whatnot cause of all all people on the face of, of the planet earth except for the elect of the nation of israel which will not through the spirit and power of yahweh take the mark of the beast which is the rfid microchip it is also known as the nfc chip implant in europe it is also known as the biochip implant okay but as for the other people, as for two thirds of the nation of Israel, and as for the other nations, they will take that chip and you will have some rebels amongst them that are so-called conscious of what it entails and what it is. And nevertheless, the majority of the Goyim, which the Goyim is a populist, will willingly take that chip okay because these devils are going to use different tactics to cause people to willingly and freely take that mark now it says and he causeth all both small and great whether it be a newborn baby to an elderly senior in society rich and poor free and bond whether they be free whether they be in bondage in the jail systems in society or whether they be rich in society or poor to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now that word mark in the greek is karagma karagma okay karagma strong's g5480 karagma 
which means a stamp and a printed mark. And that stamp, that imprinted mark is the RFID microchip. Okay. The root word of karagma is charax, which means a pale or a stake, a palisade. Now, what has the appearance of a pale or a stake or a palisade? The RFID microchip. Also, the syringe mechanism that will be used to puncture the flesh of an individual to then insert that chip, which is that karagma. Okay. That syringe also has an appearance of a charax of a palisade or a, st or a stake. A palisade or a stake is an instrument with a very pointed bottom. Okay. Charax. And the root word of charax is grapho. Grapho. Strong's G, 1125, grapho, which means to write. It reference to the form of the letters. To express in written characters to fill with writing because within the RFID microchip within that karagma which will be injected into the right hand or into the forehead of an individual through that karax will contain the grapho which is a person's written information their financial information their medical their biological information it will all be stored in the RFID microchip which is a mark of the beast okay especially to write figuratively to describe that chip will be a person's identity so to speak so now we understand what that mark is to those that are new in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man and by the way as Ella Apostle Tahar had broken down and you're going to the word foreheads it is referring to one's cerebral cortex in other words the area in front of their brain okay and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast now the beast is the pagan roman empire which came back in the form of nato and the eu with america being an extension of that empire okay america is that whore that is riding upon the beast Okay. America is that beast whose look is more stout than his fellows or the number of his name. Here is wisdom that him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And in the Greek that is chai stai stigma. Chai and stai both means X mark. And I always, I always make this point, this reference. There's a saying in the world and even in movies, especially medical movies, that X marks the spot. And you notice in certain medical movies, being that I mentioned, before a nurse or a doctor would puncture the flesh of, a, of an individual, they would mark the area of puncture with an X or a circle with a dot in the middle. To signify the spot or the area of puncture okay that's an example of that that X okay and stigma means stamp that stamp is a chip the RFID market chip and according to the online etymology dictionary figuratively the word stamp means a mark of disgrace so those that willingly take the mark of the beast which is the RFID microchip will be taking a mark figuratively of this grace that will lead to the their destruction, their death. Okay, and we're gonna read about the judgment. Okay. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, now the image of the beast is the system of the beast. What comprises the system of the beast? Its educational system. His financial system, his infrastructure, his monetary system, his philosophical system in terms of his philosophies, his ideas, his laws, okay, 
all these things comprised the image of the beast, which is the system of the beast. Okay, his democracy, his wine. All these things comprise the image of the beast, which is again the system of the beast, and receive his mark in his in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And the word indignation means righteous anger. And so the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is being likened unto wine which will be poured out into a cup which is being likened unto his indignation which is indignation is being likened unto a cup and it will be poured out into that cup without mixture in other words it's not going to be diluted or reduced okay it's going to be at its full potency the destruction that the lord is going to bring upon this place is going to be at, at its full potency by way of thermonuclear fire okay so it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of yahweh bashim yahweh shai which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So the righteous anger again of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is being likened unto a cup in which his wrath, which is being likened unto wine, will be poured out into without mixture. And those that worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in their forehead or in their hand shall drink it all the way down to the very dregs. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Now, who is the Lamb? The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. Now, the fire and brimstone is referring to the destruction that will come from the ICBM nuclear missiles, which are the weapons of the Lord's indignation pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 25, okay, which will come from a far country, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 5. That far country being Russia, China, Iran, and different enemies and allies of america babylon the great but specifically the russians gog and magog and this will happen during the third world as well revelation chapter 11 verse 14 isaiah 9 and 5 malachi chapter 4 verse 1 psalms chapter 29 28 verse 9 i believe or 29 verse 8 you could check those scriptures up. Okay, it says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So, this is the judgment for those that receive that mark. That is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And our elders, our apostles, beginning with El Apostle Har, have been warning you Israelites for decades about the RFID microchip and to not take it but you scoff and you scorn and you mock and here we are today and now a lot of you are gonna be left looking stupid especially you are the camps that refuse to acknowledge that the RFID microchip is a mark is a mark of the beast so with that I pray this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Akakudash with that, I say shalom until the next.